the most lethal self-defense targets and how to avoid them. You know, it's funny. I've been doing this channel for, you know, almost, you know, six, seven months now. Posted a lot of videos. We've talked about a lot of things. And it's always amazing the questions that I get back from people, you know. And uh, especially when I post anything like, uh, you know, the knockout nobody knows, that that particular video. Um, it's interesting. It's, you know, hitting the side of the neck. And the, I get two responses to that. I get one, oh my God, could you kill him? I heard that's a lethal target. Or the other response is, oh my God, great. That's the only thing I need to know. I, it just boggles my mind. Like, you know, there are no easy answers when it comes to this. But what I really want to talk about is this idea of lethal targets. You know, yes, there are areas of the human body that obviously, um, you know, if you injure the person, uh, in those areas and you're successful injuring them, you have a high chance of doing real damage, you know, real trauma to the human body up until, you know, lethal killing them. That's, you know, that's a given, but what's more important is I, I don't think people understand the concept that I keep coming back to. If you look at the, the videos that I have, okay, let's just look at all of this here. Put me in here too. Okay, so all if you go through the level of what I have here, all the different, you know, things, you know, looking at, you know, the Achilles heel of your self-defense training, how a college female saved herself. Um, the theme through all of this is the same. You know, it's not, you know, it's not about whether or not something's lethal or not. The idea is if you don't have a clear understanding of when it would ever be okay for you to cross into the physical, put your hands on somebody and affect an injury. And if you don't understand that once you do that, you have no control necessarily out of the, over the outcome. You have no idea how that person's going to respond to physical trauma. You know nothing about them. Like I said, I pointed out, you have a genetically bad heart, you know, um, you know, I talked about, uh, you know, concepts where I showed a bar fight. I think in one of my bar fighting videos, I showed a, a bar fight of, you know, um, I saw these two Russian guys and they fought for about almost two to five minutes, beat the hell out of each other. It was an epic battle and they both were able to walk away from it. I showed a similar bar scene in Arkansas, one hit. Guy, same thing, two, two similar sized guys. One hit, the guy's head hits the ground, cracks open, brain bleed, he's dead. Okay, that's the reality of lethality. So what targets are lethal? Anytime you put your hands on somebody, it could end up being lethal. And so, yes, I will show areas of the human body. As you show, I show the eyes, you know. Um, just going through some of these here. You know, showing the groin, showing attacking the eye. Um, you know, uh, attacking the throat, joint breaks, you know, I go into all of these areas, you know, how to destroy the knee, all of that kind of stuff to show you how, if you need to protect yourself and you need to put trauma in the human body because you're devoid of choice, because you're facing imminent grievous bodily harm, then this information would be relevant to you. But when you come back to me, and I show something and you say something is asinine as would that kill him? Yeah, probably would. And you know what? There's no safe targets. Once you touch somebody, you know, there really isn't. Okay. I I've told you so many times about, you know, two people who had no intention of killing each other, no intention at all of killing each other. They end up, you know, doing just that. Why? Because they didn't, understand that you cross the physical plane it's not you know this is not an agreed upon fight you know you need to be strategic in your use of self-protection the tactical aspects of self-protection where to go on the human body where to that's that's the easy stuff the hard stuff is when would you ever use it and i see too many people asking questions that i realize they just don't get it 
And I don't say this lightly. I say this because I've seen people on the other end of this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to be interviewing a guy who had a really bad situation happen to him, you know, using what he thought was self-defense and ending up in prison. Um, you know, I, I can't emphasize this. You got to take this seriously. I take it very serious. If you need this information, I'm going to give you the best information on how to, you know, wreck the human body to save your life. Bar none. Okay, I don't do it gratuitously, and I certainly don't encourage it. I also give you very strict parameters on when you would ever use this information. But there's no magic bullets, okay? There's no one-off. There's no magic touch points, dim mock, any of that BS that's out there. Anytime you put your hands on somebody, you got to put work in, meaning you got to throw all of you into it. You got to understand where to go in the human body to get a result. You got to know what a result looks like. That takes real work. Not a lot of people want to put in real work and learn this stuff. I understand that as an instructor. Most people want to learn how to live a life where they can avoid ever having to use this information. And therefore, I try to give you that information as much as possible. And the number one thing is understand once you put your hands on anybody, there's no safe areas. Okay? None. You have no idea how it's going to turn out. A person could fall, trip, brain themselves. Something that you think is a simple control move could end up triggering something in their body because genetically they have some issues that you don't know about. So again, there's no simple things that you have to deal with. You also have to think about situations where, okay, you win the fight. And what? You know, my interview with Rory Miller, if you haven't heard that, we talk about that extensively. You know, all these idiots that think, oh, I won the fight. It's great. And then they have to deal with the aftermath of that. Because guess what? That person that they won has friends, has family members, gang affiliations. Now you've just brought all that into your life. Okay, there's more to this. Like I said, self-defense is strategic. Learning how to punch and kick is tactical. Start thinking strategically. That's what this channel is all about. This is what I'm trying to convey to you. Why? Because this is where the, most people make the biggest mistakes. They jump right to the physical because they think they need it. And they think that's the cool stuff. And those are the people, and it's usually younger guys, that get themselves in trouble real fast because they have all these unintended consequences. So what I'm trying to get you to do is put this all in a really good box where you really understand when and where it would ever be useful. So anything you do to the human body can end up being lethal, believe it or not. Okay, even a simple push on somebody. A person could lose their balance, hit themselves in the head, that's it. Okay, now I know I've gone over this a lot. I know a lot of you are saying, Tim, I already know this. Remember, this is a big channel. There's lots of people that don't know what you know. That's the other thing. I get a lot of response from I knew this or I knew that. Yeah, I know you know it. Okay. I know there are some trained people, some very competent people following me on this. Okay. I, when I talk about this, you have to understand I'm talking to the group and there's a ton of people that don't have this information and I could share the emails with you to prove that. Okay. Now I love doing this information. I love putting it out, but I'm very concerned that a lot of you are looking for a magic bullet. And, which is completely unrealistic. And then also on the other side, some of you people are just having fantasies about what this is all about. You know, you really have to work on the idea of how can you minimize the chance of violence ever coming in your life. Trust me, that is the number one goal you should have for your self-protection strategy. Okay, if it gets down to where you have to use this information that we give you on how to wreck the human body and stuff, everything's failed. Everything's failed at that point. Okay, it's great because that's your last ditch effort. That's your, your release valve. You know, that's your break glass in case of war information. But man, wouldn't it be nice not to have to go there? So please. We have a lot of videos on here. We have a lot of training. If you've only seen a couple of them, go through the, the library. They're not super long. You know, not all of them are interviews. Some of them are really short. But everything gives you a nice 
strategy overall on how to look at self-defense. Because if not, you're going to be just dealing with clickbait. You know, the three best moves, the three most dangerous moves, the three most, you know, all that kind of crap by guys who just want to show you some quick tactical stuff with no strategy behind it whatsoever and can get you into a hell of a lot of trouble. So anyways, just wanted you to think about this. Again, please continue to give me your feedback. Also, um, if you come across, I I will be getting an email together uh, for people, but I'm going to start asking uh, for some of you guys to submit either some videos that you've seen or uh, some suggestions for future content for me to put in. I really appreciate it. Some of you reached out and actually sent me some really great stuff uh, that I'll be sharing with you guys later on. But listen, subscribe to the channel and don't forget, one of the best things you can do to get yourself a really good self-defense strategy is go to timlarkin.com, sign up for the, uh, uh, the masterclass, free masterclass, and we go in depth on all of this stuff and it will really start to help you build a real strategy that will not only protect you, but also keep you out of trouble. Until next time, all the best.